of opportunities for those who wish to become a commercial diver. It's very diverse. The marine industry is what we like to call a hard industry. Like it or not, whether the economy goes up or down, ships have to move. We need commodities, we need oil to fuel our cars. So there will always be a job as a commercial diver. As a young Singaporean previously, I was not exposed to any diving job. But right now, there's a lot of diving jobs available in Singapore itself. You can come from any background, either primary school, secondary school level, you talk about diploma or degree. If a diving course with you, you can go different job. My interest in diving started when I was taking up my recreational dive with Party Open Water. So uh, after the first dive, I feel that I want to do it professionally because it's something different. I hope that with this course, I can be certified as a diver in Singapore. Career aspirations, I just want to gain experience inshore, then work my way up to offshore industry. And probably I will take some inspection course and be a certified inspection diver. I've been with this company for eight years. I was previously from the Air Force doing a search and rescue. After I have left the service, I get to know a KB associate and uh, that is where I actually branch over to uh, become a diver medic. The commercial diving industry is not for everybody. It's a very hard job. You know, you spend all day, sometimes all night, out under the sun, in the rain, in the wind. Those people who wish to join it are those who have a passion for working out at sea, who have a passion for working out in the open, under the, under the sun, you know, outdoors types. This career path is open to many people. We take a lot of people from the military, from the shipyards and all kinds of walks of life. It's a good lifestyle for someone that enjoys working outdoors, someone that enjoys adventure, and someone that's physically fit and likes a daily challenge. We like to promote our Singapore standards you know, for commercial diving or technical advisory. And one of the steps we like to move forward in is training. So with this training, hopefully divers will be more aware what are the requirements and they will be able to say no to dangerous situations or dangerous conditions and take a step back. Before I went to the course itself, I do not know what my diver is doing underwater. I cannot understand what they are feeling. I don't know what the requirement, what the safety aspect of the whole job. But once I attend, I have a good instructor which taught us what you can expect. So once I'm done with that, I came back to the yard. I dive with my diver themselves. I work with them hand in hand and I understand them better. In the morning when I come in, I'll go through the equipment setup, making sure the equipments are safe to use. And then the diving will commence, you know, where we have to look at the safety aspect of the diver. After focusing on the safety, we will look into the equipment aspect at the end of the day for it to be ready for use for the next day. Currently, in Singapore, there are very few commercial dives. Ultimately, we would like for most of the commercial divers in Singapore to all be Singaporeans and to be trained accordingly. This is a good career path for Singaporeans because they start at the entry level as inland inshore commercial divers and sea scuba, work their way up to surface supply, and then once they've done their surface supply and gained some experience, then they can work in the offshore industry. And then that leads to divers becoming diving supervisors, they become diving technicians, and then ultimately over a period of time that they can become commercial diver trainers like myself. Every day you have a different environment and of course the next passion to move on as a diver to a trainer is to, to bring up the standard of Singapore diving industry. Why I personally joined the industry is because I love the sea. I just have to be near the sea. I, I, I feel the happiest when I'm out in the middle of the ocean, away from everybody, away from the troubles of, of the land and it's just a passion. It's just a feeling that I, this is where I want to spend the rest of my life.